Welcome to Pioneer Palette. My name is Nathan Ye. Today we're going to be doing julienne soup. It's a soup that we're going to use a chicken broth with. We're going to cut our vegetables into strips uh, using the process of julienning. And I think it'll be great. Come on. Julienne soup possibly gets its name from the months of June and July. This is cited in Anna Maria Collins' uh, cookbook. But it's also cited that it could come from the French first names of Jules or Julienne. But if you're younger than me, you might not know what Juliening is. Juliening is the act of cutting th something into thin strips. We're going to see me do this later when I cut all of our vegetables in this way. We're going to need onions, carrots, potatoes, spinach, celery, some oil to fry all those vegetables in, salt, pepper, and a lump of sugar. are all of our vegetables that we've chopped up. The lettuce and the spinach are going to be added last. I'm going to put a little oil in our pan, pot, and uh, we'll get our first vegetables cooking. They're starting to fry up. They're gonna fry for a few minutes, and then we're gonna add our broth. It's been a few minutes, so I think it's time to add our broth. You want the broth to just cover the vegetables. This soup's gonna uh, simmer and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna add our seasoning after that. If you're like me, it's easy to get impatient, but we just gotta wait a little bit of time and wait for this soup to cook. Then we're gonna add our last ingredient. Now that our soup is almost finished, we're gonna add our spinach and our lettuce and the bits of hard tack that we smashed up. That should thicken the soup and give it a little bit more of a vegetable leafy green flavor. Lastly, I've taken a bit of parsley and I'm going to chop it up to use as a garnish on top of our soup. Now that our soup is ready, we're going to take our first taste. Leafy greens are excellent. The broth is very sweet. I think I may have put in a little bit too much sugar, but uh, all in all, it's a very good broth. Oh, the broth has a, a big carrot flavor as well. Let's try a little piece of this hardtack I put in. It's not crunchy anymore, but it's still extremely hard. By far one of the best soups I've made. This is really good, and you should try it out for yourself. I recommend this fully. Thank you for watching this episode of Pioneer Palette. Be sure to tune in next time to our next video, which we'll be releasing soon. Say bye, Shmer.